One of my favourite films is the 1961 classic directed by Val Guest, The Day the Earth Caught Fire. The idea that due to a mix-up in time zones, the US and Soviets explode nuclear bombs at the same moment, knocking the planet out of orbit and towards the sun. The day the Earth caught fire will burn itself into your memory. Is it fiction? Or is it fact? What's the mutation of the Earth? Mutation? Well, it's a slight oscillation on the Earth's axis, caused by the pull of the sun and the moon it's on changed. the equator. You see, there's a slight bulge on the... There's also an item here about axis rotation. There's been 11 degree variation, whatever that may mean. They've shifted the tilt of the Earth. The stupid, crazy, irresponsible bunglers. It really captured my imagination as a child. Drink up, then. Here's how. The scene of the last beer in Fleet Street was equally scary for me as an adult. Three, two, one. But wait, this crazy scenario was actually considered by US Cold War planners, Project Retro. Project Retro to fire multiple rocket motors strapped to the USA and either turn the Earth so the incoming missiles missed America or to push the US continental plate enough to make the bombs miss their targets. Of course, the energy involved to actually move the Earth is enormous. Much more than either nuclear bombs or even Elon Musk's FLR could do. The other part of the day the Earth caught fire scenario has happened and will happen again. Time and date confusion. April 1961 was planned to be the US Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba. It failed because the air support was an hour late due to a mix up over time zones. In the Battle of Ulm, Austrians used the Gregorian calendar, but the Russians were still using the Julian calendar. They both turned up to fight on the wrong day. Well, one of them got it wrong. This probably is a myth, but the final outcome was victory for Napoleon and the French. But on his way home to France, Napoleon took the wrong turn. Because his army got confused, he abandoned his planned invasion of England. Phew! Today, Spain has its lunch hour at 2 p.m. and dinner after 8 p.m. Although it's in the same longitude as the United Kingdom. This was because the fascist dictator Franco aligned Spanish time with his ally Germany and it's never been corrected. It has an unexpected benefit for the Spanish tourist industry as Spain stays lighter longer in the evenings. Great for tourists to enjoy their holidays into the night. The weird half hour time zone. Both Iran and Afghanistan have half hour time zone differences. This must be a military nightmare for dropping US bombs onto a dinner party. China should have at least seven time zones, but has only one, imposed on the whole country from Beijing. Think of those poor kids in the west of the country going to school most of the year 
in the dark. In the Pacific, two nearby islands are a whole day apart. The Marshall and Howland Islands are either side of the International Dateline, but are actually only a few hundred miles apart. Just to be clear, when exactly is New Year? At first, it started between March the 1st and the 28th of February. Then, it was changed to the 25th of March. Then, it was the Saturday before Easter. And more recently, it's become the 1st of January. But the UK still has multiple year starting days. The historical year starts on the 1st of January. But the Scottish church year starts on the first Sunday in Advent. And the civil English year starts on the 25th of March. And the Queen has two birthdays as if she needs more presents. One of my favorite stories is how you calculate the movable feast of Easter. The Vatican knew that the Earth orbited around the Sun, but they still arrested poor Galileo for his heretical science. Rosh Hashanah literally means the beginning of the year. The biblical name for this holiday is Yom Terah, literally day of shouting. It begins on the first day of Tishri. In modern China, a new year is celebrated at the turn of the traditional lunar solar calendar. Celebrations traditionally run from the evening preceding the first day of the Lantern Festival and the first day of the New Year falls on the new moon between January the 21st and February the 20th. In 2018, the first day of the lunar year was on Friday 16th of February. It is the year of the dog. Confused? Well, if you know the time and the date, the truth is out there. <laughs> that was good. <laughs>